Hello, everybody. Thank you, Christy. Well, Topan Miro got involved with the accessibility about 10 years ago when one of our insurance clients was doing some work at a university that required accessibility in their documents that they were posting. So we did some research and we took it on because it was a nice compliment to our product line. And that got us in on the ground floor of ADA and 508 regulations. And since then, we have seen and we've participated in tool and IT development as accessibility was getting adopted into healthcare, financial mutual funds, and government markets, as well as the laws being refreshed for new technology. For me personally, accessibility has been one of those defining moments where you feel like you make a difference for somebody. And even if it starts out small, the ripple effect over time can have an impact. So I'm passionate about accessibility and delighted I can amplify that message with you here today. So you might be asking yourself, what should I get out of this discussion? Well, to put it quite simply, to answer the question, why and how? Why is accessibility such a hot topic? Well, mostly because it's a regulatory driver, but it goes beyond that to a social responsibility that a company can manage to. And how? How does this help your customer and how do you apply what you have learned to make a difference? I receive calls from clients almost every week asking about ADA. Some are in the discovery phase, learning what ADA means for them. Some because their boss kind of flung it over the wall and they're trying to figure it all out. Some because they've received a complaint or their legal department called because they've been filed against. Some have tried it, they're overwhelmed. Others have, it's just grown too much that they can't handle and they need some help with some of their documents. But whatever the reason, the role I play and the role that you play is to facilitate a solution. So we usually start off by looking at what you have conducting educational meetings and help guide and develop a plan. But let's step back a step. Last year was a big anniversary for ADA. Can you guess why? Well, on July 20th, 2020, it marked the 30th anniversary in the enactment of the American Disabilities Act. It was signed into law in 1990 by President George W. Bush. And there's a lot of components to the act with the goal to make reasonable accommodation for people with disabilities. And it has taken a while to trickle down into business and day-to-day -day activities. And quite frankly, the pandemic has accelerated that social and the technology expectations by customers. So something we're all familiar with, the CDC. So according to them, 61 million adults or one in four U.S. adults have some sort of disability, including mobile and cognitive. And how does this influence your business? And what does this mean for your customer? Well, if you think about it, diversity and being inclusive are no longer just buzzwords, but they have a much stronger meaning and importance in society. And this applies to current events. So certainly this has influenced how we shop. So you think of Amazon with the retail and groceries, how schools have changed for distance learning, the whole hospitality industry. And for most of us, what's changed over the last year is the work from home. Reducing business travel, more virtual meetings, conferences virtual, even the SEC examiners uh, working remotely. And now former e-delivery skeptics um, are in support of digital delivery as being the norm. So with this change comes more focus on how the internet is being used and the documents that are posted and how accessibility helps your customer. So websites are a challenge. They've been a challenge even well before the pandemic. And some companies have already started to redesign for accessibility, fixing obvious issues, things that are difficult to see, they're too small, they're hard to select, they're hidden behind things. And one of the reasons the corporations are taking on this change and incorporating accessibility is because they're facing increased pressure to be a role model 
to take a stand on issues that impact society at large. And it's playing out along the lines of what's called ESG, that's environmental, social, and governance issues that most board of directors are addressing. And in that context, accessibility is something tangible to show for a company's social efforts. And it can drive excellence in service and value, even market image and branding. Accessibility becomes that bridge to your initiatives digitally and provides a platform to make sure everybody has access to the same consumer or user experience. So let's take a look at the regulation. 